Hi, I'm Harry Cliff. I'm a particle physicist based at the University of Cambridge and I work on the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. I also write popular science books. My first book was called How to Make an Apple Pie from Scratch and this is my new book, Space Oddities. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the weird things that we've spotted out there in space in the last few years that come from the book itself. The first oddity I'm going to tell you about is actually from the very end of the book. It's an event that took place on the 9th of October 2022 when a massive flash of gamma rays swept through the solar system, temporarily blinding orbiting spacecraft, and it was picked up by observatories all over the world. As they processed the data, astronomers realized this was actually the brightest explosion that human beings have ever witnessed. It's technically known as GRB 221009A, but was given the catchier title, The Boat, which stands for the brightest of all time. Now, astronomers think that gamma ray bursts like this are caused by supernovae, but the brightness and the particular way the light was emitted by this object doesn't really match what people expect. So it's a big puzzle as to what actually caused this event and could be telling us about a new type of object in the universe that we've never seen before. The second story is from close to the beginning of the book in chapter four, and it starts with a radio antenna floating high above Antarctica, suspended from a gigantic NASA balloon the size of a football stadium. About a, t a decade ago, this antenna picked up something that the astronomers using it could not explain. They seem to be seeing really high energy particles emerging from beneath the Antarctic ice. Now this antenna is called ANITA. It was designed to look for particles coming from outer space, which is what you would expect. But stuff emerging from the Earth makes no sense at all. Particles like that shouldn't be able to travel through the solid rock of the Earth itself. And this suggests that they may be picking up a brand new type of fundamental particle that we've never seen before in nature. The last story isn't so much from outer space, it's actually about space itself. It's about a crisis that's been gripping cosmology for the last decade or so, a disagreement over how fast the universe itself is expanding. Now we've known that space is expanding for almost a hundred years. It's an effect that's been going on since the universe began in the Big Bang. But there are two different ways of measuring how fast space is expanding. One involves looking out into the universe to distant galaxies, measuring how far away they are and how fast they're moving. Another involves looking at the light from the fireball of the Big Bang. So basically looking back in time 13.8 billion years, figuring out what the early universe was like and then running the clock forward to figure out how fast it should be expanding today. The problem is these two different methods give quite different answers and this could be the clue to a new form of dark energy that is shaping the expansion of the universe and if that's true it could lead to a radical reimagining of the story of our universe, its origins and its history. You can read more about these stories and other cosmic mysteries in my new book Space Oddities. Thanks for watching.